we have included our css file now i will be refreshing this page as soon as i hit enter you can see i am having all the stylings is been applied we have written the html part and i have just included the css part whichever i have done for my demo project i will come here you can see rest everything is same i have not done any extra step i have just copied the code and pasted inside this css file okay now what we are going to do we are going to create the database here i will be writing localhost php my admin i will enter you can see our php my admin dashboard is created for my demo project i have created the database called shopping cart now inside this i will be creating another database i will click on new i will give my database name as shopping uh, let me just give another name i will be giving my shopping my shopping cart okay my shopping cart is the project database i will click on create now our my shopping cart you can see the database is created inside this we do not have any tables now first we are going to connect with this database i will come and i will open this folder inside this main folder i will create one file i will just write here connect.php inside this first i will be writing php code i will create one variable i will give the variable name as connection inside this we will be using my sql i connect to connect to the database and inside this we have to pass four parameters first is the host name our host is local server so we are going to give local host then second we are going to give the user name by default the user name will be root i will give here root then we have to give the password as of now i have not set any password to my root so i have just given blank if you want to know how to reset the password how to reset the username i have given the link in the description you can go there and you can watch that video then i will be giving my database name my database what i have created now my shopping cart let me just check for the spelling my shopping cart my shopping cart okay this is my database these are the four parameters we are passing inside this my sql i connect local host username password and this database and here i will just check if my connection is successful then i just want to display successful else i just want to write here die method and inside this i can just write here connection failed i will save this i will copy this file path instead of copying let me just include this one i will just copy here and here i will be writing connect.php i will save i will come to header i will refresh now i am getting this error syntax token if expected here i will be writing semicolon and also here i will write semicolon and also here i am just going to put semicolon and also i will just copy the same variable name i will save this i will refresh this one now you can see i got successful which means i am successfully connected to my database now what i will do i will just come i will be removing this i don't want to include i got the result as successful which means i am successfully connected i will come to connect.php i do not want to print successful again and again if i am successfully connected i just want to display the error here i will write or and after this i am just going to write here die method inside this i will write connection failed
now i will save this i will just remove one letter from my database and also i'm just going to include here i will write connect.php save refresh you can see i will be getting the error it is not going to connect because that database is not present now if i just write here shopping cart i will save this i will refresh this one now i am not having any error which means i am successfully connected to the database as of now i have removed that successful message so that message is not displayed okay we have created the database and also we have connected to the database now we can create now we can start creating the tables and we can start writing php code